of this and are you guys in agreement that Anthony Edwards, a guy who's right now averaging like 24 points a night, seven rebounds and freaking six assists a night with like, what was it, like three steals a night, two steals a night? The guy's absolutely an animal. And guess what? It's all because he has fucking space. Because when the Rudy Gobert comes off the floor, they go five out with Naz Reed, Kyle Anderson, and like freaking J.D. McDaniels and D'Angelo Russell. It's beautiful. As a Timberwolves fan, I'm looking at my chops and being like, maybe this is why we need to get rid of Carl Anthony Towns. I've been saying it for a year and a half. Anthony Edwards has surpassed, supplanted. Carl Anthony Towns is the face of the franchise. is the best player on this team. Definitely. Ant's averaging seven assists in his last five games, which is beautiful. Yeah, I mean, I don't really have anything new to say about Minnesota. I mean, the trade cat, I think it's just abundantly clear. But I don't know if they'll pull the trigger this year. I think that might be more of an offseason thing. But with a guy like Ant, I mean, he needs a ball in his hands as much as possible. So... Yeah, he's a rising superstar in the league. And most importantly, he's not a pussy like Carl Anthony Towns. So. Yeah, it's a, I mean, yeah, you guys basically said it. Anthony Edwards, he's really come alive. The ball hand, the facilitating part of his game is a nice surprise because that's not really what we expected to be his one of his strengths. But, I mean, he's a dog. He, he has everything you want out of a player. When he applies himself on the defensive end, he's a dog. He can score. He can take over a game with his offense. This is a guy who maybe won't average a triple-double, but he can flirt with averaging a triple-double. He's and, a 20 and 7 and 7. He's a, Yeah, he's like a 25, 8 and 8 guy. That's what I think his ceiling is. Like, or maybe more than 25 because, you know, we don't know. This guy, the sky is the limit for him, really. And the Timberwolves, like, if they move on from Cat and they can get a haul for Cat, you know what? Go out and get some free agents to play with it. Go out and get some free agents or go out and trade for another star to pair up with Ant. Because trading Cat and trying to build this Timberwolves team to a win-now team, it's actually not a bad idea. They have a ton of really good pieces. They just gotta get Ant, they just gotta get Ant a good co-star that like plays with him better than Cat. Because Cat is a liability on the defensive end and he takes up too much of the ball, and Ant needs the ball for this team to be successful. Jackson, what? what? What's your thoughts on Car and not Car Anthony Towns, Anthony Edwards, and this team that like without without Car Anthony Towns, Anthony Edwards has the space, has the ball in his hand. What do you see a difference in this team? I, even Rudy Gobert's out here averaging fifteen and fifteen, or like sixteen and fifteen, or some shit since Anthony Anthony Edwards has taken over as like lead facilitator slash creator, everything. Well, I mean, yeah, I, I don't, I don't think the Timberwolves are fixed because they're they're still going to need a little bit more. So that's why I want to trade Carthy Towns. You can get some of those assets back in the in the Gobert trade. But I mean, yeah, when you have your franchise guy, you got to go all in, and it's it's really only a matter of time. That's why I would trade Cat immediately. If I've, I'm not trying to be disrespectful to Cat, but like, if I got, he's not a fatty, but like, if I got somebody who's not like the most fit person on the planet. Kyle Kuzma and Will Barton in a first round pick from the Washington Wizards and I'm good. Yeah, that, I mean, that's fine, but my point my Gobert point is... Gobert was if, worth four, man. Come on. Cat, you're telling me, like, Gobert was worth four. Cat's at least worth two if Gobert's worth four. I just, I, I think there's going to be a lot of internal issues if you keep Carl Anthony Towns for the rest of the season and like, like I was saying, like, if I have the non-most fit guy telling me to stop eating Popeyes when I'm like a rising superstar in the league, I'm going to be like, well, F you. So I think there will be a bunch of, and it, maybe it won't come out, but I, I think there will be issues if Carl Anthony Towns comes back and plays for this team. So I would, the issue is he's not having like a great season. He's having an okay season. I, I guess. think Carl Anthony Towns should come off the bench. Luke and I talked about this yesterday. If they bring Carl Anthony Towns back, they should never have Rudy Gobert and Carl Anthony Towns share the It's going to demolish his trade value. And you're essentially stuck with him if you're going to do that. And he's not going to be happy about that. Nobody's going to be happy about what that. What if this was Tim Conley's him. plan the whole time he came here? And he was like, fuck Carl Anthony Towns. We're trading for Rudy Gobert. So the whole fan base sees the reason why we need to trade Carl Anthony Towns. And then trade Carl Anthony Towns for like 
to the San Antonio Spurs for Doug McDermott, Jakob Pertl, Jess Richards. I was just kidding. THT in a first. I it's what Carthy Towns making like what thirty three or thirty six million, and Luke, what's the money? Uh, I can look up his contract, but it is a max deal because he signed it. So, but it was a max deal for a few years ago. Hey, look it up. Carl Anthony Towns contracts probably like 30, 33, 35. I think it's 33 or 35. I thought 36 uh, MX. So his at, okay. It's this coming year. It's 33.8. The next year it's going to be 36. Okay. 33.8. I think Will Barton makes like 15. Kyle Kuzma makes 13. Get a verbal commitment from Kyle Kuzma and uh, that he would resign. And then you get, you maybe throw in like Taj Gibson or somebody or like Chris Stops. No, nah, because the Wizards have made it clear that they're re-signing Kristaps, they believe. This is what we'll get to in the Wizards in a second. Is Kristaps re-signing with, with the Wizards? Yeah, Kristaps is. Cat Chris... signed an ex- I forgot about the massive extension that he signed on the offseason because that makes him even more immovable. So, yeah. Well, okay, let's call up the San Antonio Spurs. Let's call up a rebuilding team and be like, you guys want to rebuild around Carnegie Towns? Is that, is that? This person should never do that. <laughs> Greg Popovich would cry. Greg Popovich would cry if Carl Towns ever touched. You know who should get him? The Houston Rockets. Eric Gordon, maybe. Oh, my God. Dude, his extension is massive, man. I know. 225 million over four years. I mean, he fits the profile what the Magic want to do. I love the Orlando Magic. I would never want them to get Carl Anthony Towns. But you think the Trump- they want to pay him $50 million a year starting in 2024? Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> Carl Anthony Towns is going to have to retire because of that contract. That extension is like the Zach Levine mass- max contract he signed. I think that it's worse. It's, it's going to look really bad in a few years. My well, you, you hope that the TV deal is big enough to make that look like a <laughs> mid-level contract. Yeah, you hope because wow, that is bad. And they signed him. They signed him that this off season, and they can't trade him until at least next year. And his value is kind of tanking in the first, and like his value is kind of tanking months after they signed him. So it's pretty immovable contract. So let's 